thankfully. It's a little bit better in most parts of the country than it has been the last couple of days. That's not very difficult, of course, is it? And we do have the British Grand Prix underway at the moment, practice rounds. A uh, bit of a problem, I think, for the organisers in those pits because right the way through the next few days, it's going to be showery. So it's going to be very difficult to decide which tyres to put on. The reason, of course, is the old area of low pressure. Of course, it caused all that mayhem and chaos yesterday and the day before. It's moved across to the east of us. It looks like we're going to sit over Scandinavia, really, for some considerable time. So it'll be still feeding in those cool winds, and those cool winds will keep us showery. Not as cold today as it was yesterday, though. This is a brief reminder that in parts of the Midlands, it was the coldest July day on record. On the other hand, some parts of Scotland have basked in unbroken sunshine and had glorious weather. And I think today, maybe that western part of Scotland not faring too badly again with some sunshine, maybe just the odd shower. That's in complete contrast to eastern Scotland, where you've had a complete change. It's a cold northerly wind, it's cloudy, and there's outbreaks of rain around as well. And in fact, it's a similar story right the way down the eastern uh, slice of England and right the way into East Anglia. In fact, Norwich yesterday was the warmest spot in the country at 21 degrees. And I wouldn't be at all surprised if it wasn't amongst the coolest today at about 14 degrees at best and some bits and pieces of rain to go with it. Further west, it's slowly brightening up. There'll be a little bit of sunshine, but showers will break out as well. The heaviest showers, I think, through Ireland, Northern Ireland, where you could well get some rumbles of thunder. Otherwise, the showers fairly well scattered, which means to say many places could well stay dry. Jolly cool, though, along that eastern coast. A little bit warmer than of late, though, further south at 18 degrees or so. Now that weather system will hang close to the east coast right the way through the evening, right the way through the night. The showers from Ireland will run across Wales and the southwest. In between, with clear skies, it'll be another one of those uh, quite chilly nights. Temperatures of 8 and 9 degrees. Tomorrow, more of the same in a way. Those eastern coastal counties stay cold and windy and damp, some rain from time to time. Elsewhere, it brightens up, but we do find showers breaking out. This time, it'll be the turn of the more central and southern areas of England, I think, to get the heavier showers, but there will be a scattering of showers virtually countrywide. Temperatures, again, similar to today's. In other words, not particularly brilliant anywhere and certainly still cool along that uh, eastern coast. As far as Sunday's concerned, well, it's going to be quite a while before the last of that cloud and bits of rain pull away from that east coast, so maybe a fairly similar day. Otherwise, it's sunshine and showers, but not so many showers, a little bit warmer. Best day of all, probably Monday, when many places will stay dry with some sunshine. Back to Anna.